Hey, welcome back. One of the greatest gifts that we were given uh, from our ancestors is cast iron cookware. And when your cast iron cookware looks like this, it's not time to throw it away. And I'm gonna show you what to do. Hey, welcome back. In this uh, episode, we're gonna talk about restoring old cast iron cookware. I found this old deep dish frying pan um, at an old flea market or something like that. You can see that it has seen better days. Um, the cool part about this is it's an old Wagner. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's an old Wagner and uh, six inch. Um, just a just a beautiful beautiful pan and what we're gonna do today is show you how you can make it look brand spanking new just like they made it back in the old days and and I'm looking I'm, I'm hoping to get uh, into some of this and see if maybe there's uh, a stamp on here that I can identify it um, but this is a treasure and the technique that I'm gonna show you uh, it'll work on absolutely every Dutch oven, anything cast iron. Uh, the beauty of cast iron cookware is it's not like today's stuff. This is not disposable. You go ahead and reuse this for hundreds of years. So let's get right to it. Okay, so first of all, uh, for, for this technique, uh, you're going to need your old nasty cast iron. Um, I use a bucket like this. It's just an old tote box. This one has a hole in it. Uh, so it's good enough to to use and as luck would have it it's clear so you can see what's going on today uh, you want it to, so that it'll fit uh, whatever you have in there uh, no we're not going to use a submersion technique although that is one of the techniques that you could use um, with this style of cleaning up your Dutch oven uh, you're gonna need vinegar regular old all-natural whatever vinegar um, you're going to need a squirt bottle and what we're going to do is we're going to go 50 50 uh, water to vinegar so this is 24 ounces so i have 12 ounces of water 12 ounces of vinegar in this little squirt bottle right here and then you just need a scrub uh, brush you don't need a metal brush nothing um, if you got a real coarse um, straw brush or whatever but these are cheap and you can replace the heads on these so you got a little handle but what you want is something that you can grip and you can work with and i'll and i'll tell you that this requires a heck of a lot uh less energy and time than using other techniques and i've used multiple techniques i've used um sandpaper i've used orbital sander uh, i've never sandblasted um but i've used and i've used the submersion technique uh, this technique is faster and uh, a lot more hands-on. And then I would recommend uh, wearing gloves. And for those of you that are in the RV world, uh, you got these anyway. Uh, they're not required. Vinegar is not going to hurt you. But it will leave your hands smelling uh, for a little while. So I go ahead and, and glove up for this. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so the real thing that we're doing... Uh, today with this is we're gonna we're, we need to get all that rust out and so this technique will will do that uh, when you're working with vinegar whether you're submerging uh, the Dutch oven or using this technique today don't go more than 30 minutes don't soak for thir more than 30 minutes uh, and don't um, don't scrub for more than 30 minutes and the reason why is that vinegar uh, it really does a number to rust but if you've got pitting in your cast iron uh, after 30 minutes uh, you'll start seeing flaking and uh, the pitting could uh, get worse uh, with the um, with the vinegar but don't worry about it uh, if you stay under 30 minutes you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna hurt things okay so real simple process and I'll show you how we get started okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna soak with with the sprayer And we're going to give it a good liberal soaking.
All right, you don't need to be uh, stingy with your with your soak. All right, now we're going to take our brush and we're just going to start scrubbing. And you want to get the cracks real good. And again, we're going to do this process over and over again. Uh, the first one we're going to do a 10 minute. We're going to scrub and let it soak for 10 minutes. And then we're going to soak and then scrub uh, at five minute intervals, not exceeding 30 minutes. And you can already see just in this initial scrub down, and you'll see it when we, when we soak again. <laughs> so again, you want to you want to be getting all in this and scrub, get the whole thing, get your edges, get the handle. Get the outside. Soak again. Well, you can already see that stuff flaking off of there. We got some pretty bad spots in here. All right, so we're gonna let that set for 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back and we'll do the same thing. We'll scrub again. Okay, so that's been in the soak mode for 10 minutes and now we're gonna hit it again and we're gonna scrub it again and then we're gonna do a five minute soak and kind of let it set for five minutes and then we're going to uh, repeat uh, for the next essentially half hour. Uh, but you. Like I said, you don't want that vinegar sitting on there uh, too too long, especially if you're going to submerge. And we can fill this bucket with vinegar now and, and just set it in there and let it set for a half hour. Probably going to do the same thing, but you're going to have to scrub. Uh, what we what I know with this is, and one of the arguments is why 50/50. Uh, it, it's up to you. I, I know people that that go 100% uh, vinegar, 50/50. Uh, you know whatever. Um, this is the way that I was shown how to do it, so that's the way I do it. All right, so let me get the camera back down and you'll uh, get to see another five minute scrub. But you can already see we're getting down to that nice cast iron base, which is where you really want to be. And the other thing is if you got some real hard spots that aren't coming out, go ahead and throw a little baking powder in there. Um, that'll work too. It'll just act as a little bit of more of an abrasive. Um, I'm hitting the hard spots here where that rust was really settling in. And you also notice that I'm not really grinding at it. I'm, I'm I'm just, I'm just brushing. That's been sitting in that little pool a little bit there. And boy, you can really see where that's, that's cleaning up real nice right here. I mean, this whole, this whole thing was rusted back in this corner. And this side right here was completely rusted. Looking really good here. See where that water's turned color? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give it a soak and let it set for five minutes. There it goes.
This pan is old. And you can see where it's been through the fire a couple times because it uh, kind of caved in on that one side. I really want this side to soak good. Maybe I can stick that brush under there a little. All right. All right, so now we're going to let that sit for five minutes and we'll be back out. Okay, so we're done with a five minute soak. And you can see that the water stain. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with, um, this is a scrub pad from Lodge. Lodge Manufacturing actually makes this. And that should take this rough stuff out. The, the thing with this is, you wanna be real careful because it will mark up the bottom. That one spot is almost done. You can totally feel it now. I'm gonna get this inside. And you want that color to start looking silver. Don't worry about that, that's natural. And we'll fix that when we start seasoning. And the more you use the, the more you use the pan here, the blacker it'll get again. And that's just a good season right there. All right, see what we did there? We got a little bit left right in here. Right in there. And again, all we're doing is pulling that rust out. One, one little spot right in this area, right in here. But throwing these things away is not an option. These things are just <clears throat> the best cookware ever invented. And you want to take care of it. Now this one obviously had seen better days and it was neglected. And that's why I bought it for a dollar. <clears throat> because whoever owned it before didn't know that if you take a half hour of your time you can get this thing looking brand new, you know, and then get it in the oven, get it seasoned back up again. And I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and I'm gonna cook on it tonight. Just to show you that this is a great way of restoring cast iron cookware. Oh, this looks good. This corner right here needs some work. And you just keep working it until, until it's nice and clean. And I'm not as much concerned with the outside as the inside, but um, see if I could do that on camera. I don't want to get my lens with this vinegar. All right, I think we're done. We're going to do one more soak of five minutes. And the bottom real quick.
We're gonna do one more soak of five minutes. And then we're gonna take it inside, we're gonna rinse it off, and we're gonna put a light, light coat of oil on it. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna get the oven uh, going. And then we're gonna season this thing up. Oh, that is beautiful. All right. Right here. Okay. One more five minute soak and we'll take it inside. Okay, so we're in the kitchen now and we're gonna take the pan out of the bucket. We're gonna put it in the sink. We're gonna rinse it off really good. I've got the oven preheating to 500 degrees. Uh, once we get the pan rinsed off, I'm gonna dry it really good and we're gonna put a coat of oil on it. Let's check that out. Well, I tell you what, this thing, this thing just looks really, really good. I'm just taking that, that large metal uh, scrubby and just kind of hitting it again. I'm using warm water, not hot water, just warm water. And all we're doing, kind of getting that vinegar off the surface, uh, anything that might have And then, uh, we're not gonna use a paper towel, we're gonna use a regular towel. One you don't mind, you know, putting on cast iron. And you wanna get this dried rather quickly so you don't get flash rust. Look at that. Looks so good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dry that off. Get that dried real good. Oh, man, that looks good. And again, whoever threw this away You know, didn't really know what they were, what they were throwing away. Apparently, look at that. That is just gorgeous. And that that silver look, all the rust is gone. That silver look is exactly what you're looking for. Okay, now we're gonna get a quart of oil on it. A coat of oil, not a quart. And I'm just using olive oil. Bring that in. There we go. And I, I like using my hand for this one because you want this bottom surface to be like glass. You want it to be and so if you feel any rough spots or high spots um, while you're doing this oiling, uh, then you, at least you could go back and, and start again or whatever. But, and this is absolute glass right here. That is beautiful. And we're gonna coat everything. We're gonna coat top, bottom, inside and out. And you want that. Let me get a. Look at that. Brand.
brand new. Looking good. Did you take before and after pictures? Um, well, I got them on video, so. All right, again, we're just coating this, coating this up, and it, it could be a good, good coat. You don't have to be stingy uh, with this first coat. Coat everything. Coat the handle. Get inside. Get inside this little hanger there. You want to get every little bit of this coated up. Oh god, that looks so good. Look at this. Gotta remember the before. great okay now looks like a brand new pan all right so now we're going to throw it in the oven the oven is heated at 500 degrees we're going to throw it in the oven for about 20 minutes all right and what you want to do is uh, make sure that you got fans and windows open because this is going to smoke like crazy the neighbor is going to think your house is on fire but what the neighbors don't know is you got the best cookware in the neighborhood so uh, let's get that in the oven. All right, we're going to put that face down, or top down, right on that rack. And we're going to set the timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Okay, so we're about to take it out of the oven after the first uh, go round. I'm going to reduce the heat of the oven to 400 degrees. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to let it set for a second because it's gonna be extremely hot. Then I'm going to coat it with oil again and get it back in the oven. For round number two, we're gonna do this one more time. We're doing three rounds, 500 degrees, 400 degrees, 400 degrees, coating it with oil uh, in between each time. And then this bad boy will be ready to cook on. And I'm cooking uh, pork ribs in them tonight. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, I just oiled it up. We're gonna get it in the oven one more time uh, for another 20 minutes. And then this baby is ready to go. So I won't bore you with putting it back in the oven, taking it back out, but I will show you uh, what it looks like after we take it out this last time. Okay, so a couple thoughts when you're starting from scratch, you're you know, getting the rust out, you're reseasoning, you're doing all that with, with a, new, a Dutch oven or any cast iron cookware uh, go ahead and take the time watch what you're doing when you're doing it like I said earlier you want to make sure that that surface is like glass if you buy a brand new lodge Dutch oven or any lodge cookware right now I highly recommend you go ahead and take it down to cast iron and start over again uh, lodge has started putting this spray on seasoning and it's not smooth at all in fact it kind of fit, feels like rhino liner uh, in the back of your truck you got to get rid of that if you really want to use your cast iron cookware properly uh, so go ahead and take that down you could take that down with that vinegar i would recommend uh, in that case you know sandpaper sand that out get it back down to cast iron and then start the process right where we picked it up today um, when you get into the seasoning part of uh, seasoning your Dutch oven, uh, get the oil on while the Dutch oven's still hot. Uh, the reason you want to do that is because the pores are open uh, in the cast iron. You want that oil to seep in there. And then the best thing that you could do to cast iron is cook with it. Uh, you, you, the more you use it, the better it's going to be. The more you use it, the better seasoned it's gonna be. But I'm gonna show you uh, what this looks like. 
and we're ready to cook on it right now. All right, so uh, that's the, the process. Uh, don't worry about some of the discoloring. That'll all work itself out as you cook on it, as you season it, as you get that really nice uh, seasoned look to your cast iron. Uh, again, uh, cast iron is the greatest uh, cookware and it's meant to last forever. If you treat it right, it will do exactly that. Hey, thanks for coming along with the video. Hey, do us a favor and share it with a friend. And don't forget to uh, check out other videos. And we will see you uh, the next time.